It's that time again, where we go spelunking into the deep, dark, foreboding cave devoid of logic and reason. And talking, of course, about feminism. Hi, I'm Maggie! Well, hi, Maggie! Hi, I'm Chloe! Hello, Chloe! Hi, I represent Vienne! No, get fucked. I won't act with a puppet. I have standards. We are passion protect! Um, I'm not too sure what you just said, so I'm just gonna call you Passion Poontang. So, this bear represents our third member who is absent, who is called Vienne. This is what happens when you miss meetings. Oh, I get it. So this is some kind of good cop, batshit crazy cop situation? <laughs> you guys really had me going there for a minute. Because you are replaceable. Totally. <laughs> well, I'm glad they're not my friends. What bitches? Um, our goal with making this channel, when we'll talk about our individual goals and motivations later. And what a success it's been. I can't help be reminded about the insect Queen Anita who said feminism isn't about personal goals or personal gains. If you're going to jump on the feminist bandwagon, then at least do me the courtesy of getting it right. You're just making this far too easy for me. It's no fun if it's just like shooting feminists in a barrel. But um, our collective goal was to give a kind of Feminism 101 course for everyone. Alright then, give me your best shot. And we'd really like to emphasize the everyone because feminists don't have to be femme or female identified persons. Oh, they can be one of your made up plastic genders then. I'm just gonna leave this here for your, uh, for your viewing pleasure. And I feel somewhat offended you listed this video under education. So, uh, Chloe, as an individual, why did you want to make this channel? Because honestly- Yes, honesty would be a good start. Now I realise that's hard for feminists, but I believe in you, Chloe. Go Team Poontang! I'm really tired of getting angry or weird looks when I tell people that I'm a feminist. Then don't get angry at the weird looks. It's, it's really as easy as it sounds. You see a weird look and you don't get angry. See, it's a technique we in the real world call being an adult and also because I'm so incredibly tired of hearing the phrase, I'm not a feminist, but... So, in tempting to figure out why these people might say that, which could ultimately help feminism as a whole, you decided to get angry, stamp your feet, and complain on the internet. Well, good job. I can see why your channel has been a huge success. Oh, wait. From so many people, it really gets on my nerves. Whoa, you're a feminist and stuff gets on your nerves? Do you know what? This video is going to be far too easy. It's now become shooting dead feminists in a barrel. But I've started so I'll finish, so let's crack on with these regressive progressives. It's because half these people are actually feminists. Well, by that logic, all of the national socialists in Germany are Nazis. But I can see why they wouldn't want to identify as Nazis. And for similar reasons. It's a toxic, dogmatic ideology that needs to die. They just don't want to identify as yeah. feminists. Yeah, and it's nothing to be ashamed of. There's nothing wrong with being it's feminist. It's not a dirty word. Yeah. It is a dirty word, and you should be ashamed. They are the lowest, most detestable scum. Ever to congeal like a rancid tumour in our society, you resort to spreading your idiotic dogma on platforms designed for young teenagers because they're impressionable and want to fit in. And in doing so, you guarantee yourself another generation of idiots ensuring you another 10 to 20 years that your gender studies degree doesn't cross the line to completely useless. It just remains mildly useless. It's actually the most empowering, awesome word. Well, unlike feminists, I actually support free speech, so you're allowed to be as wrong as you like. While I may disagree with every word that comes out of your mouth, I will never advocate to have the platform removed from you to be unable to say it. What about you, Maggie? Because to me it's really sad how intense misogyny is. So, not choosing to identify as a feminist is now hatred or stereotyping of women. I don't think you understand words very well. Like, on the internet? Would you like to give us some examples? In gaming culture, like especially on the internet, mm -hmm. especially YouTube, like it's ridiculous. Oh really? I haven't seen that and I spend most of my time on the internet. And the majority of that time on YouTube. What I see is a huge community of social justice dick-brained lynch mob idiots who think that they're the authority on absolutely everything. And those who speak out against these social justice warriors are doxxed, harassed, and forced into silence for fear of their own, their friends, and their family's safety. Why do you think we keep our identities secret? So don't you talk to me about hatred against women on the internet, because it's clear to me you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. 
person in like gaming culture and it's actually it's like very present in pop culture too like mm -hmm. movies so I think it's really important that we talk about it through those same mediums yeah because this is exactly the same as movies right oh and one more thing your hat is ridiculous especially the internet um, and an open forum discussion is what you were saying yeah exactly yeah I think it yeah it shouldn't just be like a lecture you seem surprised by every word that comes out of your mouth. And can you please, please stop talking like this? It should be like a discussion. Yeah. Except discussions with feminists is absolutely impossible. Because I'm white, because I'm male, and because I'm straight. You can get fucked with all that cisgendered bullshit, I'm straight. And all these factors make me absolute scum in the eyes of people who actually identify as feminists. You're only interested in shouting into your own echo chamber so you can hear the same bullshit bounce back at you. I just wanted to acknowledge that half our friends are going to think that this is a completely irrelevant and pedantic video since most of our friends are actually feminist and in fact women's studies majors. Oh fuck. Just, just give me a minute please. Just give me one minute. All right, I'm back. Let's, uh, let's continue. Where were we? Oh, yeah, that's right. Most of your friends are gender studies majors. Oh my, the shock. The abs- Okay, that's enough sarcasm. So, um, we just like to say that these videos aren't necessarily for you. We know that you already know everything that we're gonna say. Implying you have nothing new or original to bring to the conversation? If these arguments haven't changed the minds of people like me in the past, what makes you think they're gonna work this time around? Um, because we're the ones who get drunk together and deconstruct gender and we like it. Is it because that's the time your arguments make most sense to you? You know, when you're hammered. Because believe me, I've had million dollar ideas when I've been drunk and then sobered up and realized the frisbee already exists. This video is for people who don't understand what we mean when we say deconstruct gender and don't understand why that's relevant or interesting or even potentially fun. Well, if somebody actually qualified to talk about it had said it, I might think they're referring to the genomes. You know, for different genders and stuff like that. It would be interesting to see if any of these people who identify as the Tumblr brand plastic genders actually have any genetic differences. At the very least, some form of deformity that will explain their idiocy. I just think that would be fascinating. Also, we do intend to, like, get more, like, get into deeper things. into feminism. This should be interesting, then, because the deepest I've ever been in a feminist. Well, actually, let's not go there. So we're gonna look at some definitions of feminism. So, <laughs> according to our most credible source, Wikipedia... I don't really have anything to add to that. Feminism is the advocacy of women's rights on the grounds of political, social, and economic equality to men. Okay, well, with this in mind, you must have some examples of where this equality to men comparison isn't being met. You, you do have some examples, right? <laughs> I'm just fucking kidding, of course you don't. Which is a okay quote, but what I don't like it is that we're still being measured according to men on par with men. I don't really think you understand what the word equality means. In order for something to be equal, you need to compare it to that thing so you can make it actually equal. Never become an architect. It would be a fucking disaster. Rather than being defined on our own and empowered on our own. Yeah. So, and yeah. As we'll find, that's something that's very common. Oh, so what you're saying is equality isn't enough for you. Well, we already knew that. Or, you know, feminism would have stopped when you actually achieved equality many, many years ago. So what I take away from this is the dictionary definition of feminism isn't the definition of feminism. Because that definition doesn't put women in a league of their own where they can actually surpass men, rather it tries to compare them for actual equality. On a somewhat related note, if anybody watching this is inside the UK and can hook me up with some strong drugs that will numb the pain I'm feeling inside right now, I'll be eternally grateful. According to the Women's Studies Department of Eastern Kentucky University... Oh yeah, I bet everybody's just clambering over themselves to hear what they have to say. Feminism is a multidisciplinary approach to sex and gender equality understood through social theories and political activism. So can your professor not actually read dictionaries or is he just not bothered with things like facts and research? According to Rebecca West, feminism is the radical notion that women are people. And I really, really like this quote because it's true. I feel the need to mention that the author in question died in 1983. And given that she was actually born in the 19th century, and wrote these books in 1930, which was about 30 years before the feminists burnt all those bras. Yeah, given all that, I'm guessing that she actually had some legitimate concerns. But while she may have been a pioneer of her time, her books certainly don't hold up today. 
if this is the extreme you need to go to to get some kind of text to back up your claims, all the while contradictory evidence is everywhere around you, then there's something wrong with your claims. And a lot of people find it to this day very shocking, yeah. which really disturbs me. Do you have any proof of that? Oh, of course you haven't got any fucking proof. I feel like this is fundamental feminism, yeah. or just fundamental being not a shitty person. Yeah, I is mean... It I look- I feel like I look pretty human. I hate to be a complete bitch here, but you really don't. Your friend does, but you just don't. Feminism is a commitment to achieving the equality of the sexes, um, but I personally believe that not only is feminism the belief that women and men should have equal rights- They already do, and if you are not going to cite some right that I have that women don't, you can't use that as a reason. But really that- um, everyone should just follow the golden rule, respect each other, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Luke 631, you're quoting from the most misogynistic book in history, barring maybe the Quran, as rules to live by. I- really? Jesus fuck. And again we see the lines between religion and social justice blur. I wonder if this is how religions actually started. Well, according to the Urban Dictionary, which everyone knows and is also incredibly credible, um, yes. feminism is filled with lesbians, man-haters, and hairy-legged women. Maybe that's because feminism is filled with lesbians, man-haters, and hairy-legged women. Which, to be honest, isn't entirely untrue, but there isn't a checklist for being feminist. Um, you don't have to look a certain way, or identify a certain way, or think a certain way. Except you started this video to slate people that don't identify a certain way, and don't think a certain way. You have to identify a certain way. As a feminist, you have to think a certain way. The patriarchy is real, and you're not all crazy. And you all have to look a certain way. Basically, not a man. And if you're not white, all much the better. Because men can only be allies at best, remember? Or at least I've seen more feminists say that than say men can actually be feminists. And as we all know, it's lead by popularity in feminism. Um, feminists also straight, femme, sometimes shockingly even male, because guess what? Feminists <gasps> oh like to reject rules! You mean rules as in back up your own claims or take responsibility for your own actions? Yeah, yeah, we've all seen this through observation. So I personally believe that feminism means treating people as fellow human beings of equal value to this world and equal right to live in this world regardless of their gender, race, sexual orientation. Treating women as fellow human beings. Have you ever heard of this little group uh, called the UN? Well, over 50 years ago, they got together and created this little document called the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. And even before that, women were still treated as humans. For example, do you remember that guy that killed a whole bunch of women in London, Jack the Ripper? Well, there's a reason he's famous and not this guy, Bill from the local slaughterhouse. And the reason Jack the Ripper is famous is because he was killing other humans. And that was well before feminism was even conceived as an idea. Jack the Ripper was still considered to be committing a heinous crime. Gender, race, sexual orientation, or any other uh, socially constructed trait. Oh, for fuck's sake, you think race and gender is a social construct? How fucking abstract and edgy. This is not a chicken in the edge situation. Humans came first, and then society came after that. Humans couldn't have sat around a fucking boardroom table before they evolved to decide what the genders will be and what the races will be. It's nature, it's biology, it's how it happened, it's how we evolved. So let me explain to you how it works. Biology 101. When a man and a woman love each other very much, the man bends the woman over her desk, and then they have crazy passionate workplace sex. I have to laugh at myself or I'll go insane. And finally, a small update for those of you interested. I'm still waiting to hear back about the incident. And it's been over a week since I gave the statement under caution. A testament to the efficiency of the Metropolitan Police Service, I suppose. And as always, thank you for your time. Yeah.